So we're doing a VOD review of Burb, who is going to be playing Genji at around 2.9, so high plat. Um, starting off on defense, he's got the Mercy Zenyatta, which is great for supports. He's got McCree, which is good as like a, a DPS to stay near their main tank. They've got a Mei, which is kind of hard to play around as Genji. Uh, unless you don't really flank too hard, and then you can just kind of follow up on her freeze. Um, besides that, let's see what we've got. So your May is up pretty far. I'm guessing she's just going to wall him in spawn, hopefully, and not just big feed. Yep, okay, so that's fine. Uh, most of them were up top, so what do we know they've got? Junkrat, Widow. Uh, your Mercy calls that out. Diva Rhine. It was a good reflect on the fire strike and a lot of good just chip damage. Uh, you're playing up high, which is good. Let's you're see kind of focusing the Rhine right now, and then you go right in front of the Rhine. Um, so, so when you were up there, you saw the Junkrat, and so you got up on the. You had a nice deflect there. You get up here. So you have the Junkrat, right? And then basically the rest of the team follows this push around. And so they kind of all group up, and then you go after the Lucio. Um, which at this point you hadn't really done any damage to. Lucio So you jump in here, but this is a really risky play. A, you're facing the wrong way. B, you're... I mean... Honestly, you're not gonna do much here. You're not. You're not gonna pick anyone unless the Lucio makes a huge mistake, and you're just gonna eat damage for no reason. So you saw that the nade had already been used on the nano, uh, the on the group. So Anna had no nade, and so what you could have done was stay back and then dove the Anna. So either they would have had to turn around and deal with you, or they would have lost their main healer, and all they would have had would have been a Lucio for heals. Instead, you eat a lot of damage, you dash, get out, which is good, and then you deflect some damage, which is also good, but you also just dropped your Mei, who's kind of working as your off tank. So here, you either need to go absolutely huge, or uh, play safe. And so both of your abilities are on cooldown right now. You don't, you don't want to be going too crazy in. Um, it's good you're up here, because this can give your... Mercy an escape option if she starts if they start going really hard on her because all they really have to follow up is either that widow which we haven't seen in a long while or the diva if she really goes in in which case your mercy can hopefully turn around and fly to someone else no. so oh, there, I can't all right you're just right clicking trying right, to get as much Try it. and so there's the widow now with the team comp you have right now um, the widow is your priority. Uh, no one else on your team can really do much except for your Zenny throw a discord on her. Maybe your Arisa halt her out of position. Your Mei is going to be unreliable at best. And your McCree is going to be trying to deal with uh, helping out your Arisa from like junk rats or stuff. So you're the only one who can really deal with this widow. Um, which is unfortunate, but that's just due to the comp that you're running. Um, uh, ooh, that was, those are nice oh, shots on the window. Alright, so you're trying to reset. I don't think you guys are going to fight this, if you're being smart. Yep. Alright, you use your deflect, try to protect your Orisa. Your Orisa gets naded, she's... Oh, yep. So you're already down this two. Like, um, and so yeah, you're doing the right thing. You're backing up here, you're kind of giving yourself space. They've just capped, you've got all of this before you need to really super contest it. Obviously, if you can get a good wipe at the choke over here, that would be great. But considering you're down your Mercy and your McCree, you're in trouble. What you might want to do so is just go up to this right area and push the Widow. It's probably going to be up on this bridge or move up to this platform. You've swapped to a Roadhog, and I don't see who you dropped right. I'm going to guess the May. Um, hopefully not yet, because there's your Rissa. Wait, go back to that. 
Let's see what this is. Right. So close on the Lucio, but he's. Like, I don't know, dude. It's so offensive. Good deflect. Nice chip damage. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Alright, there we go. So yeah, you drop the May for the Hog, which is a better choice. Because um, what they have right now is they have a, they don't really have a huge spam comp. Um, but there's a, there's a couple of, I wouldn't say issues, but they've only got, really for main heals, their Ana. So if you can put their Ana down, you're going to shut down most of this. And then if you put down the Widow as well, your shield will stop them. And so those should kind of be your priorities right now. You haven't really had a good chance to have a good fight. I wouldn't say that's all been your fault. Um, you get a good... Alright, they beat drop. You just want to back out. This is good for you because you can blade this now. You don't have to worry about them coming in and fighting. This Ana is like balls deep and should not live. Good job. Nice fucking kill. Um, unfortunately, you drop your Orisa there. Which is going to make things harder. Alright, so you know the Widow's on the cart. Try to move. You shouldn't have oh, right-clicked that. That should have been... So there, you were close enough, you could have... Like, if you'd moved closer, you could have right-clicked. But you were so far away that if you'd left-clicked, you would have gotten three easy headies while he's still in the animation for your Riptire. Which, I think you weren't expecting him to be there, and your health is also wasn't exactly great. So, I mean, you did the right thing, you ended up getting the kill, but that was a bit risky. Um, you're right, down a come bunch. Back, come back, come back, come back. We're just fighting yep. Bella down. Alright, so you picked the Widow and the Junk. So, this your team should be able to hold this. Right, they're just down you, Beauty so hopefully... Down. Um, your McCree went Widow, which I would not recommend. Your team is being really passive. <laughs> You're right to tell them to go in. Um, right, they were... The point. Fuck it. Get out, get out, get out. They get were... Out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, that's not your fault. You're right to say to go in. They lost both their DPS. Um, you, sh you had two support ults. You should have been able to fight that, uh... That's not really on you, though. Which is just upsetting. Yeah. Um, you're right to call it out. Yeah, bit of a waste of a deflect there. You didn't You didn't really see anything. The Ryan was even pulling back. There was going to be no fire strike. Um, and now you're down on ability, which you kind of rely upon. Um, they're calling Diva Discord. You're just trying to chip her. Which I think is good. But see, if you'd had your deflect earlier when that hog ulted, you could have was that your hog ulting actually? Oh that was your hog ulting. Okay, never mind then. Don't worry. Your ability's off cooldown, you're just gonna dodge it, not trust the Orisha shield. Good call. Because sometimes when they relocate it it ends up screwing you. Alright, you see the widow, you're getting bullied by the Lucio. As long as you don't die to him, that's fine. Alright, you saw... So... You see that, you don't get it. The Widow has no hook. You get some chips, you see some damage on it. That's more mechanics than anything, but... I wouldn't have wasted a dash where you're not going to secure a kill, especially a dash that puts you way behind enemy teams kind of on your own your mercy did ult so you should be okay but you always want to be conscientious of where you're dashing to um if you're dashing back towards your team it's fine to burn a dash just to try to try to get that kill but unless it's guaranteed you want to save those um and now the widow sees you she's just gonna up shoot the crap out of you so you have a Widow who actually finally is turning up, and your Mercy brings you back. Okay. So, you've held on to your blade for quite a long while, and... It's... you need to use your blade. I don't know, you've, you've not used... 
I mean, you didn't really get a fight at second due to your team, but here you could put in a lot of work on that Anna. You know she has no nade right now. Like, that Anna has no grenade. Um, and you just heard her say nap time. So, she has no sleep either. So, the only thing she can do is get saved by her Lucio. And the Lucio is going in, but he shouldn't be able to, like, completely salvage that. And then they're down big heals, and that goes a lot better. Okay, so you had to swap to Zarya. Uh, Zarya is uh, not, not ideal. All right, you don't fall into the pit off that. You, what are you, what are you holding your ult for? Look how far they are. They've got nowhere left to go. Like it's now or never on your ult. I mean, they've only got a Rhine to stop you from building ult. And on this last part of the map, especially, you get such mobility from the flanks over here, the flanks behind you, that you can get chip damage to build your ult up again. There you go. There's a pick. Another nice pick. Uh, unlucky on the tracer, but... I mean, that Anna should have been a priority much, much sooner. Um, and, okay, so now... Alright, so they dropped Widow, which is a good thing for you guys, because now they have a tracer. Um... So the comps have changed a bit. You're running a Doomfist, which isn't necessarily bad. Um, but what it means is your team is probably going to lose the Shield War. So you really need to make sure you're focusing this Anna. This Anna, you, you're you ignoring her for some reason. I don't know what it is. Um, you're getting good chip damage on the tanks. You're doing a good job with most of your decision making. But nowhere in that decision making seems to be focus the Anna. Because um, when an Anna is behind you with no cooldowns and you have Blade and they're making a big push, that is the time to just destroy this Anna. And then what? They've got Lucio for heals. Lucio doesn't heal enough to deal with your whole team. Um, so I would say right now that seems to be your biggest issue. Alright, see? Chip damage, that's fine. Getting damage boosted and healed by the Mercy. There you go. All right, you know she's got nothing. She's got nothing. All right. Now here you could choose to go in, but since the Anna's leaving, you're doing your job just fine. You don't always have to get the pick because right now the Anna's out of the fight. The only person she can heal right now is I think the Lucio back here and then this Diva right in front of her. So all her team over here by the cart is not not receiving any strong heals, especially if the Lucio's over here. So as long as you keep this Anna distracted, you're doing your job. Um, believe it or not. I know some people seem to think that you have to get sick frags and go in but if they're focused on you and not healing your team, then that's the same thing as being down a healer. All right, so now you're just kind of, again, doing chip. You hear a big slam behind you. Uh, you drop a Lucio and an Orisa. All right, good dash to save yourself. Uh, now is when you're in a kind of hairy situation as well because you just dropped your Mercy to the Tracer. Um, oh, that was good, but... You see, like, without getting that Anna, you're not going to kill this Lucio. This Anna is sitting right at the back, right at the end of the alley. I can tell you exactly where she is. And she is just sitting there, scoped in, healing up her team. And she can do that because, A, you guys are frantic for the cart. And there's there was a time where it was just you and I think you're Lucio on the cart. And at that point, you're right to stay on the cart. But once your team starts respawning, and once you see, like, the Tracer is dead... Um, and all they have now on the cart is this Lucio and the Diva. You need to think about putting down this healer because the longer the Ana stays up, the more she's going to heal their team and the less you're going to be able to do. Um, Fucking so, yep, there she is, right at the end of the alleyway, just watching and just healing for free. And she's got no pressure in the world she can just sit there and just scope in pew 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 reload scope in pew 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 throw a grenade occasionally and it's kind of up to you or the doomfist to pressure it but it's better for your doomfist to be around here with his abilities than it is for you so they nanoed her uh you know they don't have Where's shatter there you go now work out um unlucky with the deflect unlucky there but she's out of the fight so again she's not healing her team during that you're 
Doomfist is able to get a pick on the Lucio. Why? Because he's not getting pocketed, and it's also Rocket Punch. But, my case. Oh, you go up top. Right. Nice. Nice. There you go. See? Oh, unluckers. Alright, but you got the Ana. Your Doomfist killed himself. Um, you got the Diva. So, you should be alright in this fight now. Unless your team completely fails you here. Um, which, so far, there's been some questionable decision making. Um, so you... I didn't hear you call that guy was up there. Good job yeah, killing that guy. Uh, your Zarya wasted ult a bit unlucky. Alright, nice just focusing this. But see, again, the Anna's back, and you can see these shots just going off, healing up their tanks. You're not... You're not gonna out-damage um, an Anna's heal, right? Especially down in these ranks where your mechanical skills aren't perfect, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to say you're like, your aim is bad and stuff, but it's a lot easier to just heal, especially with the ridiculous hitboxes, than it is for you to hit every single one as a heady and do a ridiculous amount of damage. So right now you're the only one alive. You're right to stay on the cart, but my point still stands that this Ana has just been pretty much free reign, except for the two times you've ulted. Um, so you're just trying to Stall right now. There's not much you could have really done there. Should I get him playing? Stall. Uh, Diva ults to pretty much probably secure this. Oh no, your Lucio is a god, and your Mercy comes in. All right, so they ult the Rhine. You're just trying to build ult right here without getting freaking destroyed. Um, it's a bit of a clusterfuck at this point, so you can't really turn around and go after the Anna. Like you would want to, and then you get it's slammed. Um, and that that's not on you, but you could have helped that situation if the Anna had been more pressured. They probably got ate up by you. But Diva wasn't even there at the time, though. The thing. Oh, uh, then the game's broken. Um. So, at this point, right, you've got decent mechanics, you've got good map knowledge, your left click, right click is pretty solid most of the time, your deflects are good. I would just say the main, the main thing holding you back right now is knowing when to go in and secure the kill, or just when to, uh, when to harass their, their main healer. Um, because that Anna died to you, I think, twice. Um, and some of those times were good plays on your part with good ults, and then other times you just kind of ignored her and, like, let her sit at the back. And so far, that's, that's pretty much been your biggest issue. Um, because you don't always have to get the kill. You don't have to, like, be freaking Big Dick Jones and fucking keep her down into the ground and every time she respawns you're at her spawn hole killing her again but at the same time you should be a threat in her mind and I don't think right now she even thinks of you as a threat because she just sat at main and healed up her whole team during that whole last part of the fight there was only one time during that that you went after her uh, when you ulted the other thing was you held your ult for pretty much all for a very long time and part of that was because you didn't really have a good chance to use it but at the same time even using your ult at a bad time to even just force out their ults or to just kind of have them reconsider because you guys were getting rick rolled during that second point you kind of pulled it together at the first all right so you know there's a trap narine no, please do not walk into this trap if you heard that trap walk off and you still walk into it, you should. All right, so you realize, good job. All right, so it seems like they're running pretty much the same comp. Um, you see, yep, Junkrat's up here. You're gonna push him. All right, good job. You didn't eat the trap. They've got a soldier instead of a widow. 
Right now you should be looking to take one of the high grounds from them. They're all down low. Like, you could dash up into them and then climb the wall. And kind of hold up here or hold over here or even dash up here and then move around. You, you need to be providing more of a distraction. You've got a big enough death ball and they've got a junk rat. So if they... You know, with your deflect, you're okay, but then when that's not there, you're going to eat a lot of spam just just by virtue of Junkrat. He got taken down now, so now you can really want to play with your team. Nice D-suit, nice dash. Putting in good damage, getting... Oof. Unlucky on that. Alright, he's leaving. Don't even worry about him. Just kill what you can kill. There you go, your dash is on reset now. Alright. Alright, good job avoiding eating that. Alright, now you decide to take the high ground and then you immediately <laughs> immediately jump off the high ground. <laughs> um which is working out okay so far because your Zen is ulting and so you're near him, but you might I mean try varying up where you're at. Uh, because then that kinda happens. So they beat drop. Um, you want to reset, but you get a nice pick on the Rhyme. Cause no one gets baby diva in time, and it's time to come back. I can launch that game now. All right. just you got unlucky in yeah, that, but nice, re nice recover. So Un unlucky. So there was the dash, which I think collided with the map. Um, let's see, so you do this, you're just building all, you get a fat, juicy pick. Alright, you're just going with right clicks here, which, at that range, you really, oh man, did I just skip? At, at this kind of range and further, unless it's a tank, you should be left clicking and trying to track. Um, unless they're really low and you need like just like 10 damage to kill them or they're at like one bar or something then you can kind of right click to just hope that you get them but like he's in his biotic field you're not going to kill him with a right click and you're going to build you're going to a build more or and b do more damage if you just left click and one two three into him um unless you're like at a tank i wouldn't say worry about it so here you're right clicking it's on the tank so it's fine and then when they're further away, you left click. But you want to do that at mid range too, if it's a smaller target that's at full health. No one baby All right, so you do there. that. You get the dash. I can walk back in. No, I think we you get just... knocked up by the junk rat. So that was, and now your health is kind of really low. So that's just kind of unlucky. You did a great job deflecting here, getting that yes, kill, and then going for the Anna. So much that's just kind of unlucky. Um, in that the junk rat hit you with either a mine or something. Besides that, you played that pretty well. You put pressure on the Ana, finally. Um, and now... Now let's see what happens. Right. So you have a Winston now. They're Diva ults. You hear that Junkrat ult? Holy crap, they are throwing everything and the kitchen fence at you. I'll do one HP. Uh, Too bad, I'm gonna die to him. Alright, nice. nice. You get a double. Nice. 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 Right click combo on the Lucio. Nice. Fine. Good. Fine. Crisp Fine. kills. There you go. Pressure the Ana. Beautiful. Alright, so they just swapped to Hanzo. Um, which, depending on how good they are, can be a problem. Nice, just gank them. Alright. I don't know why they swapped to Hanzo, but. Arisa's oh, old. Looks like a Mongo. Climb up, get some mobility. Nice. Uh, preemptive deflect with the Hanzo, and you're in a tiny doorway. I can understand you using that. Just getting chip damage here. Nothing wrong there. Good deflects on the junk. You have ult now. Alright, so big pick onto the 
Alright, there you go. They're two down. You shouldn't need to ult this. Unlucky that that didn't hit. Um, you should definitely be pushing that guy up. Alright, they're going all in on this for some reason. Now the question is, where's the Anna? So you saw the Anna, and then you... Anna up above him. She, thank you. That Roadhog was so hurt that going after it was the right idea. But it worries me because you've been ignoring the Anna for most of the match. And see, when you start putting down the Anna, you guys do a lot better. And that's that's helping your team. Because their Lucio is really aggro, so he's not putting out a lot of heals, right? He's kind of just being like super up in your face. Alright, here, Dragon's coming. You're close enough up that you can avoid it. Alright, they just did that. So you're that's fantastic for you, because now you can blade. You don't have to worry about that coming back. You see junk right up top. Uh, there's a trap right under you. Please do not step on that. Thank you. Nice. Junk right up above. Nice, good time. Oh, unlucky on that. You should have. The Anna was over there, and you probably should have gone for her, but you did get booped, and so you weren't going to get a dash reset. So I think surviving here was the better choice. Dead. Um, but I think if you'd been searching for her a bit more thirstily, Oof. big slam. Um, nothing you could have done there except for hope for your Zen ulted earlier. But again, you really need to be tunnel visioning this Anna. Um, ideally now, since you're running like half dive, you should be trying to get your Zen to Discord so you can go in with your Winston and just destroy this one. But now that they're running Reaper, your Winston might not be as willing to dive. I'm actually dead to this. Alright, your Arissa survived, which is good. Did you kill the Ryan or did you? What the fuck is that? Alright, right, you don't waste your dash going after that, which is good, because you probably would have lost with no cooldowns against a near full health Reaper in a tiny hallway. Move up to the high ground, which is good. Alright, um. Yeah. That max range hook, though. Wow. That was just unlucky. That wasn't even... There wasn't really... Holy crap. There's not much you could have done there. Oh, man. That was... Nice, Arisa. Alright, so the Ryan just killed himself. You heard the Anna ult. You heard her. Drop her ult from over here. Right? We have all... I have my ult. He can res. Alright. So where's the Anna? Yeah, the Anna. Jesus Christ. How does that reach me so high up in the air? I don't know, did he end a race for him? Vertical range is crazy. Are you getting kind of bullied here? Like yeah, you're probably just gonna die. Um, that whole time I could not see where your... Where their Anna was. I don't know if she was in that fight or dead. Uh, but odds are, since you lost it, she was probably just sitting on the right in that little cubby hole. Um, right on the other side of this by the little health pack up top and just tanking her team. Nice. Good, good chip damage. Nice. Nice. Simple. Ease peace. Good combo, good pick. Um, Alright. You heard the Anna user sleep dart over there, so she would be a great dash target when you reset on this. Um, you go after the Lucio, you get him. Nice deflect. Oh, Alright, your team capped that. But ulting after Lucio, 
can be good if he doesn't know you're there, but if he's looking for it and he boops you, it can screw your ult because he can hit you just out of range that your blade doesn't connect anymore and then you don't kill him and then you don't get a dash reset and you're kind of overextended in enemy territory. Um, Deanna had just slept right before you ulted and if you dashed that way, I guarantee she would have died because even if she naded, it would have just added an extra swing to how long it takes to kill her. So... Besides that, you've been doing very good. Much better with like taking high ground and kind of being a nuisance. Um, you're building your ult quickly, which is good. You're still being a bit hesitant on when to use your ult, um, but yeah, my wins yeah. is my wins is awful. I can do that though if you want to go ahead. Okay, sure. Rover's playing with Sir West around the blue through the wall. You guys wanna go right side and then flank them? Yeah, sure. Still have a junk rat. Right now, surprise, surprise. Alright, they're set up on point. Just That's some chip fast damage fast here. Fast. Anna is super caught out over there. She's still got all her cooldowns, but you should have called that for your team to help them. Where did that Anna go? There we go. Anna's dead. Alright, so now you can just go in for free. They just saw me. Off the actually one HP. Nice pick on the junk. Oh. Get that Lucia. Nice. I think you just clicked, and so you didn't go through the doorway, but it did meet at him. All right, good. Good cleanup. Might want to look to see to go up and stagger the Ana. Yep. Just like that, your team was on it. Thank you, but um, since Anna was the first dead, she's gonna be the first to respawn. And if she was stupid, she was gonna go up alone, thinking maybe I can make it in time to save my team. And then that is when you stagger her even harder. Oh, was the HP? I didn't see my HP, dude. Fucking. Oh, I appreciate it though. It's fine. You, you get close by, you're fine. Winston big feeds. No, you don't. He gets back spawn. He's got to jump. Make That's sure one person bad. stays on top the whole time. Um, they have a McCree now, so that's what killed or Winston. So you're going to have to be even more careful. Um, I don't think the Anna's really told the McCree to focus about you or worry about you, so the second you hear Flashbang go off, you should be... Then you want to do that? Hopefully. Let's, 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 let's going to engage them soon. Alright, so they're getting ballsy because they're in overtime and they're trying to clear the car. Wow. That range. And like just a big, bomb. big bomb, he says. I'll have a bulk like right after I fall. Alright, Doomfist gets a good ult. Right, I have a... Save point, save point, save point, save point. I'm flying out right now. Unlucky. Okay, that's fine. I that's guess. Let's just... Um, see, that's why... Yeah. That's why ulting Lucio's isn't a great idea, is Genji. You're gonna get booped and then you're gonna unless he really messes up his boop and boops you like into a wall where you don't really go back then you've got to try to worry about getting that swing in and he's gonna like speed boost away and you're really not gonna get anything from the ult um the Anna was up top alone and you saw like she naded right before you ulted which would have been a great time because unless she hits a clutch sleep you're gonna kill her and then you can dash in and try to get either the Hanzo or the Lucio, because at that point, it doesn't matter if you don't get any more kills. Their main healer is down. Um, but instead, you wanted that Lucio for some reason. I, I, I guess because he's very aggro, and that's not what... I, I guess, I don't know. But ult option choice should not be Lucio. Um, unless he's way caught out somewhere. Because... That'll happen every time. You'll just get booped away. 
and then wasted. Not wasted ult, but wasted ult. Uh, That's fine. We, we, we got pretty far. Yeah, so that was kind of on your, your Winston to stay on the cart there. Um, so you're not wrong. But you always want to be careful what you say in chat so you don't tilt someone and they just don't care because as long as you lose SR, they'll be happy. Um, especially since you were ulting, you should have seen that and then just stayed on cart, right? Because your ult will keep them away from the cart and hopefully you can get a bit more distance. Oh, no, we're... Ryan's this guy is determined to play Doomfist, but he's actually been doing work, so I'm not even not even that mad. King's Row is a pretty good Doomfist map, and he seems to know what he's doing. Alright, Ryan's Arya. Doomfist Genji. He'll probably get what Mercy's on. Same as you have the last rounds. Yep. Standard hold. Um... They're probably going to run Widow, and if they do, again, that's on you. Because your Doomfist isn't able to get as much mobility. Like, say that the Widow is up on that balcony back behind you. The Doomfist can get up there, but it'll get up there with no abilities, and it'll probably just get gunned down. Um, so, really dumb. since they ran it exactly. on the first round, you should be ready. Yeah, yeah, no, so, yeah that's, that's why you went with Alright. Cool, so your Doomfist went to a more sustained DPS class. <laughs> Don't pick up a child's skirt. Come on now. Alright, so you know they've got a Widow. Um, you could go to the left there, over by Hotel, and just wait for her. Um, you're kind of just chilling here right now. Um, they they hard pushed left last time, so that's a risky place to be. Yep. Use your dash to survive. Junkrat's way up top. I got it. You just ate, but your Zenny's on your back. Junkrat's in the house. You really need to to prioritize. Oh. <laughs> Lucky that you clipped that. I don't know why I engaged them, but we have to do something in this. This is uh, make it Mercer, right side, right side. Okay, can you get them up? Alright, so they valved. Uh, 90. Was that all Mercer? Alright, nice job, nice job. Dash in, dash in. I'm down. Oh, you need to secure that. I mean, you got it, but thanks. that's more thanks to your Ryan. Alright, nice. Good pick. You've almost got Blade. Our Genji just popped off there. He killed two. Anybody here? I don't know. If we All stagger right. now, we have no chance of holding it. True. Alright. Uh, ulting a hog is not a great option, especially when their Zen and their Mercy are still up. Um, cause A, Hog has so much health, and B, he's got, if he still has take a breather up, where he gets the damage reduction and the regen, you're, you might kill him if the stars align and if he was hurt enough beforehand, but for the most part, you're just gonna help his ult with his take a breather, and you're not gonna get much out of it. Um, nice try trying to deflect the melee swings and kite it out, it's just unlucky that the Ryan was damage boosted. Um... I'm doing a flanking high noon. I'm gonna let him cap point. If you'd had, <laughs> if you'd had blade now, you'd be able to do a much more impactful play, than swipe at and maybe kill the hog. Like even if the hog dies, that's not, that's not a high value, uh, you know, it's not a high value pick. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hugely swing a fight. Hog down is good, but it's not, it's not as good as like a Zen or a Mercy pick, um, or their Widow pick. Do you have any ult for me? Nah. Alright, so they just tranced. Rip that your Zarya up, moved out of the way. Good dash to survive. It's actually a huge rev. It's actually huge. It's insanely big. But, I mean, there the Widow is literally in spawn, so you can't really go after it, uh, go after her and, like, cause any problems. But you've got to try to play around that now and avoid her sightlines while 
Still doing Don't your job. Tanking. Here you're just kind of getting gang raped. Your Mercy's doing a good job of freaking tanking you. Holy crap. I don't know if you committed to that dash before you heard the ult, or if you heard the ult and panic dashed, um, but you had to flect up, so that was not the right call. I, th I feel like that was more just a panic dash than it was a I need to dash this ulting reaper. Cause I don't think he was that hurt that a dash would have like finished him off. Um, and I'm guessing, yeah, that's oh, GG. Ah. Uh, But, I mean, all in all, you did you did great. I wouldn't say you're a bad Genji, and I would definitely play with you. But you need the the one thing I would say that's holding you back now more than anything else. Because I mean, aim and like technical skill, those just come with time and practice. That's not something I can like individually coach you through without seeing everything you're doing. But your target priority is probably the one thing that's mainly holding you back um because you needed to focus the widow and the anna on the first round um especially when when the anna had no abilities um and then that i would say the the main thing is to not ult lucio's um not to try to kill them with your ult unless they happen to be in a big grab or something like that because with their boop and their movement you're more often than not, just going to waste your Dragon Blade getting like a swing on a Lucio while he runs away, uh, which is incredibly infuriating. So, I don't think you're you're unsavable, and I don't think you're a bad Genji. I just think if you figure out on your team that you have to deal with the, I wouldn't say the out-of-position people, but the loners, like the Widow and the Anna, who are kind of way in the back, because if you just let them sit back there and they just get to pot shot and pot heal and remain uncontested, you kind of just get those rolls where their tanks never die because they're just constantly pocketed um, and nothing's really going to challenge that. So I would just say those are the two big things. And besides that, you're, you're well on your way to, to climbing up high.